Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Maps. Question number 1. The vertical line with an arrow at the top marked with N indicates the Option A. New direction. Option B. North direction. Option C. Near direction. Option D. Nominal direction. The correct answer is Option B. North direction. Most maps contain an arrow marked with the letter N at the upper right hand corner. This arrow shows the north direction. It is called the north line. Question number 2. A plan is a drawing of a small area on a underscore scale. Option A. Large. Option B. Small. Option C. Middle. Option D. Very small. The correct answer is Option A. Large. When a small area like your village or town is to be shown on paper, then we use a large scale that is 5 cm. On the map shows 500 meters only on the ground. It is called a large scale map. Large scale maps give more information than small scale maps. Question number 3. Usually top of the map indicates underscore direction. Option A. South. Option B. North. Option C. West. Option D. East. The correct answer is. Option B. North. Most maps contain an arrow marked with the letter N at the upper right hand corner. This arrow shows the north direction. It is called the north line. Question number 4. When a large scale area are shown on a small map it is called. Option A. Short scale map. Option B. Near scale map. Option C. Little scale map. Option D. Small scale map. The correct answer is Option D. Small scale map. When large areas like continents or countries are to be shown on a paper, then we use a small scale. For example, 5 cm. On the map shows 500 km of the ground. It is called a small scale map. Question number 5. Underscore represents the curved surface areas of the whole world on a flat sheet of paper. Option A. Plan. Option B. Scale. Option C. Map. Option D. Globe. The correct answer is. Option C. Map. A map is a representation or a drawing of the Earth's surface or a part of it drawn on a flat surface according to a scale. Question number 6. The globe shows underscore of the earth correctly. Option A. Shape. Option B. Height. Option C. Length. Option D. Direction. The correct answer is. Option A. Shape. A globe is a spherical model of earth. A globe can be useful when we want to study the earth as a whole. Question number 7. The relation between the distance and corresponding distance on the map and corresponding distance on the ground known as. Option A. Sketch. Option B. Scale. Option C. Map. Option D. Globe. The correct answer is. Option B. Scale. Scale is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and the distance shown on the map. For example, the distance between your school and your home is 10 kilometers. If you show this 10 kilometers distance by 2 centimeters on a map, it means 1 centimeter on the map will show 5 kilometers. On the ground, the scale of your drawing will be 1 centimeter equals 5 kilometers. Thus, Scale is very important in any map. Question number 8. 
There are underscore components of map. Option A. 3. Option B. 5. Option C. 4. Option D. 2. The correct answer is. Option A. 3. There are three components of maps. Distance, direction and symbol. Question number 9. There are underscore cardinal directions. Option A. 3. Option B. 2. Option C. 4. Option D. 8. The correct answer is. Option C. 4. There are four major directions. North, South, East, and West. They are called cardinal points. Other four intermediate directions are northeast, ne, southeast SE, southwest, SW, and northwest, NW. Question number 10. The instrument used to know the direction is called Option A. Sketch. Option B. Compass. Option C. Needle. Option D. Scale. The correct answer is Option B. Compass. We can find out the direction of a place with the help of a compass. It is an instrument used to find out main directions. Its magnetic needle always points towards north south direction. Question number 11. Usually, right side of the direction indicates Option A. East. Option B. South. Option C. West. Option D. North. The correct answer is Option A. East. Usually north lies up, south lies down to the north, east lies to the right and west lies to the left of north-south direction. Question number 12. A rough drawing showing only some features of an area drawn without using any scale is called Option A. Map. Option B. Sketch. Option C. Scale. Option D. Conventional drawing. The correct answer is Option B. Sketch. A sketch is a drawing mainly based on memory and spot observation and not to scale. Sometimes a rough drawing is required of an area to tell where a particular place is located with respect to other places. Question number 13. The symbols used to represent various features on the map called Option A. Small symbols. Option B. Feature symbols. Option C. Conventional symbols. Option D. Physical symbols. The correct answer is Option C. Conventional symbols. Maps have a universal language that can be understood by all. There is an international agreement regarding the use of these symbols. These are called conventional symbols. Question number 14. Map showing natural features of the earth such as mountains, rivers, oceans etc. called Option A. Thematic map. Option B. Political map. Option C. Conventional map. Option D. Physical map. The correct answer is Option D. Physical map. Maps showing natural features of the earth such as mountains, plateaus, plains, rivers, oceans etc. are called physical or relief maps. Question number 15. What are the two ends of the Earth's axis termed as? Option A. Grid. Option B. Meridians. Option C. Equator. Option D. Poles. The correct answer is. Option D. Poles. North Pole is the 90 degree North Latitude and South Pole is the 90 degree South Latitude. Axis is the imaginary line which runs through these north and south poles. Hence the ends of the Earth's axis is termed as poles. 
Question number 16. The blue color is used for showing. Option A. Water bodies. Option B. Mountains. Option C. Plains. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Water bodies. Blue is used for showing water bodies. Brown for mountain. Yellow for plateau and green is used for plains. Question number 17. A scale is necessary. Option A. For a map. Option B. For a sketch. Option C. For symbols. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option A. For a map. Scale is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and the distance shown on the map. Question number 18. Maps showing natural features of the earth such as mountains, plateaus, plains, rivers, oceans etc. are called. Option A. Political maps. Option B. Physical or relief maps. Option C. Thematic maps. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option B. Physical or relief maps. Maps showing natural features of the earth such as mountains, plateaus, plains, rivers, oceans etc. are called physical or relief maps. Question number 19. Maps that shows individual countries and each country is separated by national boundary are called. Option A. Airlines maps. Option B. Political maps. Option C. Thematic maps. Option D. Resource maps. The correct answer is. Option B. Political maps. Maps showing cities, towns and villages, and different countries and states of the world with their boundaries are called political maps. Question number 20. Compass is usually used to find the Option A. Movement of Moon Option B. Movement of Earth Option C. Direction Option D. Distance The correct answer is Option C. Direction A compass is a tool used to show directions. It has a needle that spins and always points north. You can turn the compass so that the needle points to north on the dial. If you know you should be heading southwest, then you can head in the right direction. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.